one you guys wanted. Um, we are going to program a hardwired motion detector into a Concord system. I'm going to use a Concord Express, but it works exactly the same on a Concord 4, okay? Or a Concord Hybrid, it works exactly the same. Um, all we're going to do is I'm going to wire the four wires, the loop and the power, into the motion detector. And then I'm going to wire the loop and the power into the main control panel. And then we're going to do a program. We'll run a test. And that's how you do it. Now, I'm not going to explain on how to get your wire from the control panel over to point A or point B. Um, that's a whole other animal. But if, if you were, uh, say you just wanted to add one in your basement or something like that, you can just surface wire right across or whatnot. But if you're putting it up in your dining room, then try to look on YouTube for videos on how to uh, snake wires up through interior walls. Uh, preferably interior walls that are not insulated. Because you, you try to snake a wire up on an exterior wall where it's all insulated, becomes a problem, especially when they use, uh, uh, what's that What's that stuff called, rock sole or something like that. It's a real dense uh, insulation, almost like a foam insulation. Um, sometimes you can't get through that stuff. And I have snaked that stuff before in my career. Um, so that's why I always go for an interior wall, because most likely an interior wall does not have ins insulation up inside of it. Um, but that is a, a video for a whole nother segment. Primarily what I want to do today, oh, I thought somebody was here. Um, primarily what I would do today is just show you how to wire the motion detector, wire it into the control panel, and program it. I'm not going to go into how to get into program or what your installer code or anything like that is. I've got a, a dozen other videos out there on the Concord system on how to control your system, find out what the codes are, the, the whole shebit. Um, if you don't know what your codes are, get a hold of me. I can get them for you. All right, and that's in another video. But I can I can tell you everything about the Concord system, and this is one thing that I've been lacking on doing because uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't have a hard wire motion, and I just happened to be cleaning my shop and I found one. So let's get to it, guys. Um, First, I'm going to wire it into the motion detector, and then we'll go to the control panel. So let me focus you down on a control on the uh, motion detector. And uh, what am I using? I'm using a Bosch uh, Blue Line. Really nice motion detectors. All right. And when it comes to doing all the fiddling and adjusting everything inside the the, the Bosch, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to wire and get it into the control panel. Because if I did this and did that, and then shook, this thing would be like two hours long to explain the whole thing to you. But there's paperwork in here. You can read it through, do your adjustments. And uh, when it comes to pet immune, don't believe any manufacturer out there. And that comes from me. And if they have a problem with it, tell them to get a hold of me. There's no such thing as a pet immune motion detector. Zero. And I've been doing this a long time. You cannot get a motion detector be a pet immune. It's, it's absolute bull s. All right? Let's go into wiring the motion detector. Let me turn you around here. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, I got to get it so I can get down there. All right, let's go here. Uh, are we still recording? Yep, we're still recording. All right, guys, this thing is brand new. It's still sealed. I'm just going to rip the package open because I'm not going to worry about trying to sell this unless you guys want to buy this after the video. All right, comes with a couple of a couple of mounting screws and whatnot. It's a ICS BDL2 WP12. You got that? All right, so right on the bottom, it has this little, let me see if you can see that. It has a little, little lock at the bottom, 
you just turn it this way and it says unlocked and you push up. Is it push up or push down? Push down, sorry, been a while. Now, look at the strip on this. Let me see if I can focus you guys in on that. Will that focus? Let me back it off a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it focus right there. It says negative, positive, normally closed, normally closed. TT, that's the tamper. I'm not going to go into that. That's only, that. that's, you got to have two zones to get that set up. So we're primarily going to be using the minus, positive, normally closed, normally closed. That's what we're going to use. TT, don't worry about it. That's tamper. All right. There we go. It's a little clearer there. So let's get a wire and wire it in here. I got a wire right here. All right, let's see if let's see if I can zoom you guys in. Get a little clearer. There we go. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, there it is. All right. So of course we're gonna we got a four wire here. Four wires. That's what you need. So run four wires up your wall or wherever. You're going to put the black one into the negative. Tighten it down. All right. Oops, you know what? I'm actually going to do this right. I'm going to punch out the back of this. That punctures out pretty quick right there. Let me unscrew this. Actually, your wire comes in through the back. All right. So what I'm going to wire, in case I go off camera, is I'm going to wire black to the negative, red to the positive, blue to the NC, yellow to the NC. This does not matter where you wire it. It could be yellow over here and blue over here, or blue over here and yellow over here. Does not matter. All right. Now, a lot of guys are going to say, Oh, geez, you, you, you're not supervising it. Bob, bullshit. If you got something that expensive in your house that you need to freaking supervise your line, uh, you better have secret security and just get rid of the motion detector. All those tampers do is... I mean, the uh, end of line security does is just, it supervises the line, but true, 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 but if you gotta go that far to uh, secure your home, you're, you're better off just hiring uh, private security. We're talking, we're talking hard working, blue collar men and women here. This is what they need, okay? All right. So we're wired in. Red, black, yellow, blue is what I did. Okay. So now, we'll take the motion detector, the uh, the the body of it. Let me back that out. Let me back that out a little bit. Now we're done wiring. Put it back in position. All right. And see this? See this here? Yeah, it's that's where it goes in. Because right? there's a little edge card right here that goes up into the bottom of this. So you just bring it down a little bit, down below it, and then click up, and that's it. And then you can actually lock it if you want. Take a screwdriver down the bottom, there's a little screw part, and just a little twist, and it locks it. All right? So now, we are wired. Now let's take the other end. Let's go up to the control panel. I'm going to throw that motion detector over there, get this stuff out of the way. And let's focus you up, up here. Oh, oops! Hang on, I got my wires in the way and everything else. Ah, let's see here. Let's get you closer here. We are going to use right over here. There's a resistor. 
and that is on zone six. All right, this is a Concord Express is what I'm working on. So um, if you got a Concord, a Concord four, it's the same exact thing. All right, so we're gonna wire it into zone six, and as you can see, there's a resistor on zone six. We're gonna take that resistor off. And I'm going to have to get another screwdriver because that one's not hefty enough to take the zone 6 off. All right, there we go. So we still, yeah, we're still filming. We're going to take the resistor off of zone 6. All right, let's get the, our wire back into the picture here. All right. Now, it, uh, let's see. Let's back off a little bit because I want you to see this. You, you know it's going to go into zone six anyways. So you got your four wires here. You got blue, yellow, and then red and black is over here. I know it's a little out of focus, but take the resistor and twist it onto the blue wire. Right, and up here at the control panel where it says Z6, put that resistor on there. So you got the resistor going to Z6, and on the other end of the resistor, I'm going to get you nice and close and personal in there. Let me just clear that out. You got the resistor going to the Z6, and you've got the other end of the resistor, the resistor twisted around the blue wire. All right. Now, you, normally you would put around the blue wire where it's you know connected to the resistor, the, one of these crimps, or a piece of tape or anything. All right. Take the yellow wire and put it under where it says, uh, what does it say under there? Z com which is zone common. So Z calm. So the blue wire goes under zone six, yellow wire under Z calm. Now the red and black, that goes over here on the other side. Now I'm gonna switch over here. And I'm gonna zoom in. Now let's see if, how much I can zoom in. See these red and black wires? This is the uh, ground and positive 12 volts. You are going to put the black one underground, or G. It says GND. It says GND. The red wire you're going to put under. Po it says positive 12Z, which is positive 12 volts. Okay. Now, you are wired onto zone six, so let's back out. Let's back out, and we're going to go back down to the keypad, because now we're going to do some programming. Now, most of you, if you are an ADT customer, you're going to have that bottom keypad. If you're one of my customers, I upgraded you to a better keypad, but... We're going to use the ADT keypad down here in the bottom. All right. Now, if you notice, we got a nice blinking blue light on the motion detector. Oh, woo, 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 woo. I caught you. So let's put that over here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that over there so it's not sensing me at all. So now you see the motion detector over there? Okay. So now let's go into to program. Oh boy, I gotta remember what the heck a motion detector is uh, programmed as. Let me grab my book, guys. Sorry. Hang on. DIY Electronics has had a brain fart. You can't remember what the heck a motion detector is. I think it's a. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to guess here. I'm teaching you guys. 
And I don't want to guess. Let's say, um, where the heck is it? Instant? I don't want an instant interior. I want a local interior, local delay interior. Um, so let's go with a 22. We're going to make a group 22, which is a local uh, police interior. So let's go into program. You remember how to go to the program? You go 8, 4, 3, 2, 1, or whatever your installer code is, 0, 0. Hit pound, go up to sensors, go pound, learn sensors, go pound. Your sensor group is 22, because we just looked that up, and uh, that is a interior police, let me just uh, read it to you. What the heck is a 22 here, Gary? I'm going to read it exactly what it says. 22, local delay interior. Uh, is that what we should use for motions? Let's just let's just take another quick, quick look here and see if I got something better to put it on. No, no, we'll go we'll go local. We'll go local interior. 22. No, matter of fact, just so we can try it out, let's go 15. That's an interior PIR motion. Oh, that's for wireless. RF wireless, uh, mm, huge. Let's go, uh, that's it. All right, all right, 18 is instant, instant interior cross zone PR. Uh, all right, let's go 20. That's an interior motion detector. Let's go 20. 20 pound. And we are on zone six, so go to zone six and trip zone six. So I put my hand in front of it. Beep. That's it. It's programmed, guys. I'm going to back out of program. Exit program. System is OK. All right. So let's arm it. Um, let's go uh, away. And to go. One, two, three, four. Armed away. Now we gotta wait. Now we gotta wait until it arms. Now, since I programmed it as a twenty, well, that let's see if that honors a delay door, meaning that if it if the the alarm sees a delay door open, the motion detector will not trip because it knows it's you coming home. Let's just see if that is going to honor a delay door. Come on, my fingers don't work on this book. 20, delay door. PIR motion sensor that initiates a delay before going into alarm. So. Basically, it's a delay motion detector. Oh, it's armed to stay. So that means that the motion detector will most likely be out of the system. Uh, how am I going to do this? Oh, i got to open and close it. All right. This is a good learning lesson for you guys. Uh, disarm. One, two, three, four. Since the way that this alarm is set up, since it did not see a delay door open and close, it automatically bypassed the motion detector. So what I have to do is, after I arm this, I have to open and close a delay zone. Let's see if, um, where's my motion, uh, let's see if I got zone one programmed as a, a delay. And of course I don't. Guys, I'm going to have to put you on pause for a minute. And then uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, what I had to do was when I went to test the motion detector, I did not have a delay zone programmed. What a delay zone does is it means that, <clears throat> that if 
if you don't have a delay zone, everybody has a delay zone. That is the zone um, that you walk out of. So when you arm the system, you walk out of a door and you close the door. That's your delay zone. That's the zone that you always come back into when you come home. I didn't have one programmed on this zone on on this panel. So what was happening was is the motion detector would automatically shut off when after it armed because it did not see a delay zone open and then close. The panel is smart enough to know that if it doesn't see a delay zone open and close, it'll automatically bypass the motion detectors in the house. So what I had to do is I had to stop the video for a second and program zone one as a delay zone. And here it is, I, it's just this crimped off wire here. Um, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arm it, I'm gonna open and close this wire, and that will initiate a delay on uh, you know a a, uh, a delay zone opening and closing so that it turns on the motion detector and when this arms it'll arm up to s away not stay so let's try it so away one two three four arm to away so now right here I'm going to open the delay zone open it as you see the ready light went out I'm going to close the delay zone and the ready light will come back on and now when the system arms it will arm in the away mode that's why I have to turn this motion detector away so it doesn't see me or it'll go off into alarm so let's wait for it to arm and then it will this time it will arm to away not stay So let's wait. Do, 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 do. Hey guys, how do you like my new uh, uh, intros and exits? Um, I found a new uh, software where I can, um, you know, edit some of my uh, my videos, make it a little bit more professional. I really don't want to be too professional because I, I'm not really in this to make money. I'm in this to to teach people how to. To uh, you know, control alarm systems and stuff like that. Yes, I like the money on the side. I mean, I'm not going to deny it, but I'm not. I'm not running this YouTube video just to to uh, monetize it or anything like that. Of course, YouTube wants to monetize all of my my uh, content, but they they don't pay me. They want me to pay them to give me back probably one quarter of you know what I pay them but anyways it armed away um, last time if you noticed it armed stay because I did not open and close the door so now I'm gonna be the burglar I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna break into this room over here and it's got a motion detector oh my gosh oh I'm gonna run away <laughs> so remember that this is an interior motion detector on delay so it's going to go off in about 30 seconds here it goes of course I, ha I have no siren attached to it oh intrusion alarm sensor 6 let's shut it off Alright guys, that is how you wire a motion detector, wire it into the alarm panel, that's how you program it, and that's the whole kibittle right there. Any questions, comments, jingle the bell, subscribe, throw me a coffee. I don't even know how you throw me a coffee because I don't even have, I'm not Patreon or anything like that, but throw me a thumbs up or go to my website and buy something. All right, DIY Electronics and PixieKits.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching.